What's poppin' y'all? It's your man, Clawboy Bills, and welcome to another edition of Wisco Sports. Um, so of course, obviously, uh, today's video, I'm just gonna be, uh, going over, uh, my thoughts on the Badger season, because of course they played their bowl game today, and they won! 42-28 against Wake Forest, the Duke's Mayo Bowl. Wonderful. Um, they dropped the trophy in the locker room. I guess that made net hat net, that made headlines everywhere. But Badgers look like Badgers. It was Badger football from every corner, everywhere. Uh, Mertz, 11-17, 130 and a touchdown. And 5-12 for 12 and a two touchdowns on the ground for him. Um, Chanel... Had a touchdown on the ground. Berger had a touchdown on the ground. Groshek had a touchdown on the ground. And the touchdown in the air was by Mason Stocky. Jack Dunn led the way with six catches for 60 yards. Um, and really, our defense was the real reason why we won this game. Um, how about uh, Jack Sanborn? 11 tackles, six of them solo, two tackles for loss, and an interception. Also, uh, Noah Burks, Scott Nelson, and Kyle, Colin Wilder also got some picks. Um, and that was a great defensive stop, great win. I mean, it's just important for Badgers to get something like that done. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, that's great. Um, you know, the, the sad thing was, you know, this season wasn't the season it turned out to be. Our, we didn't, obviously, COVID ruined everything, you know, first game against uh, Illinois when we blew them out 40 uh, 45 to 7 was the final score if I'm correct uh, you know Mertz threw five touchdowns and our defense played outstanding and forced a bunch of turnovers and you know it was we were thinking I was sitting there thinking I'm like wow this is a legit team I'm like Mertz is legit the guy Michigan game and then of course COVID hit Mertz got it affected the entire team things happened, Chris got it, you know, it was just a bad thing, everything was going downhill from there, missed two games, come back, destroy Michigan, and we sit there, and we're like, oh boy, we, we go, we, we go undefeated, we're winning the whole thing, we, we, I mean, I thought we had a legitimate shot, I mean, from what I saw, um, that's that, and then, of course, we play Northwestern, in Northwestern, and that's where things fell apart, um, you know, he threw one touchdown, which I'd say was pretty good. And then after that, we just, Mertz threw, started to throw some turnovers. Wasn't really efficient. Four total turnovers for him in that game. Nothing was going well. Then another week go passes, and we another game gets canceled. Then we come back, and we deliver two more games that were absolute terrible losses. Indiana and Iowa just... Completely looked awful. Couldn't do anything. People kept getting sick. Just wasn't really good at all. You know, um, I wanted, you know, everyone just kept getting COVID. You know, everyone was out injured. You know, you never really knew what to expect from people. So we were two and three, and they're just sitting there like, okay, there's nothing really to point our fingers for. I'm glad the season's over. You know, I was about to make my video, and then I, you know, you know, I was going to do this a while back, and then... All of a sudden, uh, the news broke that they were going to play on Saturday against Minnesota. They were going to reschedule the game, and I was sitting there like, oh, great, now we're going to lose the X. Thankfully, that didn't happen. We won that game due to Minnesota missing a field goal in overtime, leading us to drive the ball and a real, getting a real chip shot field goal, and we won the game. And then we ended up because having a 500 record, which meant... It's bowl game time. So, of course, we get selected, and we get to play in the Duke's Mayo Bowl. And our offense somehow just decides to wake up and play a little bit better, and our defense really set up the offense in good position to score a bunch of touchdowns. Uh, shout out to that, and the defense really killed it. Uh, Jack Sanborn had the game of his life. Uh, three total touchdowns for uh, Grant Mertz, and the Badgers win 40, 42 to... Um, 28 after trailing 14 nothing at the end of the first quarter and have going on a 28 to 7 run to end the game you know so that's just badgers being badgers you just can't not say whatever you can't say so 
you know, I wanted, I don't want to be talk too much about this video, but I'm anticipating, you know, I don't know what's going to happen or who's going to come back, who's going to leave, you know, you know, obviously because of COVID, the six year possibility is a possibility. Fifth year, six year possibility is still there up for grabs. A lot of those people are believed to come back, um, except Eric Burrell, obviously Wild Goose opted out and said he wanted to focus on the draft middle of the season. Um, as I said in the last video when they just got demantled by Northwestern. Um, and then, of course, uh, and then we got, you know, all these other guys, you know, saying they want to come back or they want to opt out and focus on their careers. That's their choice. You know, it's not my choice. It's uh, theirs. Um, but, you know, we got a real, hopefully, uh, Jalen Berger, you know, He's the guy that we believe is going to be the next guy up. Uh, you know, I love Groshek. I've been a fan of him, but I don't know if he's going to be really the guy that's up for doing a six-year for this team. You know, I love the guy, and he's all about Wisconsin. But, you know, all these other guys, you know, haven't really gotten opportunities. You know, and then I'm not worried about the defense. I will never be worried about the defense. I'm just worried about the offense. That's a real concern. We don't have any receivers that are tall and lengthy and can make catches. We just, all of our guys are really small and really aren't those type of players. So that's a, that's a big worry. Um, but we'll see what goes on. Um, we'll see what they lose, what they gain. Um, I just heard the news, uh, USC running back. It's a four star recruit might be transferring to Wisconsin. That might be a huge boost for us. Maybe we get this guy and he might be great for us. So that's a big possibility. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really else to say. But, you know, every year I anticipate the Badgers football team is going to be like, ooh, they're going to be really great, and then they always get a loss, and then we're all like, yeah, they're miserable, and they're overrated. I mean, as I said before, I mean, yeah, you could compare them to the Dallas Cowboys to be exact, but, you know... A win is a win at any situation, which is what matters. So, congratulations to the Badgers. Anyways, other news I obviously should say. The Milwaukee Bucks last night went um, 29 three-pointers, NBA record for most threes in a game. Shout out. That's unbelievable. Not, Giannis only scored nine points. And the largest road victory, especially against the Miami Heat, who eliminated us last year. That's just a big revenge statement. Uh, tip off, you know, they play Miami again. You know, I don't really expect the Bucks to be an outstanding team. Like, I expect them to be a good team. But for, from what you look for, I just want them to make the playoffs. To be honest, because, I mean, we got Drew Holiday. From what I've seen, he is definitely the guy we needed. But everybody else, I think... We got need other guys to step up. I mean, this is a new team, so I think it's going to take a little bit of time to get everything together, you know. Because, you know, I saw they lost. They got dismantled by the Knicks. Who would have ever thought that? So, I just think they need time. They definitely need time. I think they have They have to. Um, I mean, remember when we started the year out last year, you know, they went like, they were like 2-2, two and two, like 3-3 three and three or something like that. You know, they needed time. People need time. Give it. And then finally, uh, the Packers just claimed Snacks Harrison. Finally claiming him. I don't know why it took him this long to do, but they got him. So that's what matters. Um, so that, that's that. Anyways, um, I'll be back with some more updates um, later on. And I hope you all have a happy new year. Uh, better than next year. So, anyways, uh, it's your man, Claw Boy Bale. Stay safe, be smart, and on Wisconsin. We will see you next time.